In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create See Also links within NVivo. In NVivo, a See Also link is a quick way to navigate between sources that have a linkage of some sort that you've created. For example, you might have a document and then an image that goes with that. Or you might have a document that, that accompanies a video. So you see this, I've already put some See Also links in our sample project. And in this case, we've got a linkage between a video source and an image source, a picture source. This is the video of Diana completing the Right Start Assessment. And I also have put some of the Right Start Assessment products here in as sources, uh, which you see as images. And, and the way I would use this if I was analyzing data, when I'm watching the video, I really would like to be able to quickly move back and forth to see what the product looks like so that I can think about what the child is actually doing on the page. It's a little hard to see that from that distance on the video. So that's the kind of linkage I've made here. You see down below it says see also link and then you see a little icon that says it's a picture source and if I click on that it's going to take me directly to the image that shows the product that she's making in the video. So there it is. It open in tabs across here just like the memo links and then I can simply just switch back and forth to them. So there's the video Then I can if I need to I can switch over and look at look at her product to um, think about what she's actually doing. So how do you create a, a see also link? We're going to do that uh, between the survey documents and the images of the journal. So let's let's go to Diana's survey in the sources. And here we found her survey, which, which is a Microsoft Word document. But we also know that we have the actual document uh, as a picture source that shows what her journal looks like. So that would be very interesting to have those linked together so we could think about them together. Here's how you make a See Also link. We're going to make a link between Kalia's family survey and the journal entries the family actually created, which are picture sources. So first, I'm, let's find, I've already found Kalia's survey. Um, under the surveys folder and I'm going to select uh, part of the text that I, that I, in fact I'll select all the text that I want to link to. Next I'm going to the top finding the analyze tab and in the links section you'll see a, an entry that says see also link. I'm going to click that and I'm going to click the top option which says new see also link. It says from and it's already filled in the survey for Kalia's family. I'm going to link to an existing item and I'm going to select that. Got to go back to the internals folder and let's look in the journals folder for Kalia's and I'll just choose one of her journal entries here. Click OK. It's filled that in. I'm going to click OK at the bottom of the, of the new See Also Link dialog box. And we've created a new See Also Link. You see below a tiny little thumbnail of, of the journal entry, but if I want to see that large, I can right click. It says open to item. And it opens right up for me. And you notice, just like with the memos, it opens the both tabs up above so I can easily quit, click, moving easily back and forth between the image that's linked to the document. Now the project we just completed has made a, a connection between a part of a document and a whole source. But sometimes you want to make a connection between two specific parts of sources. So I'm going to show you how you do that using the video. I've got the Diana video open and I'm making a selection of the first section of the video because I know that's where I've done my demonstration. Uh, so I've, I've done the blue selection rectangle and I need to copy that. I can go up to the Home tab and click Copy or I can click Control C. Basically, it puts that onto the clipboard. Now I'm going to move over to the samples that were created. And here's, I'm going to open that sample. I need to both be open. This is the sample that I created. And so I'm just going to, just for our demonstration, I'm going to select a portion of that image, like this. And in order to, to create the See Also link, I need to go back to the Home tab. I need to say Paste paste as see also link. Now what's happened, you see that the part that, that's linked is actually shown in pink, it's highlighted in pink, and it's linked specifically to that portion of the video. And we can show which portion of the video by right-clicking on the link, say open to item, 
and we see the portion right here that it'll pl actually play the portion that's linked. So see also links are just quick ways to navigate between sources that we want to look at together. We can look at a document that goes with an image, we can look at a video and its field notes that go with it. Of course we could go up to the sources folder and open the sources manually, but if we, if we need to see back and forth between them often, then it's worthwhile to make a see also link.